so uh, welcome to the channel in this tutorial i'll be showing how to automate your node.js application using docker and nginx with docker compose uh, let's get started by creating the instance so i'm just going to give this a name I'm going to name it cicd then choose the default image the amazon linux then on here we need to on the instance type we need to choose them um, i'm going to choose the medium one because there's currently an issue with um the, the, the macro one uh, the macro one is currently if you ssh via github actions it stops working so i'm just going to choose this one and then the next step is choosing the key pair we need to select our key pair so you can either create a new one or use the one that you've created earlier so i've created one earlier that i've was using for a different tutorial so i'm just gonna use that one so the next step is security group so you can either create an existing one or create a new one so but let's create a new one this is sure and we need to allow um, traffic on port 80. then the next step is installing docker docker compose so i'm going to provide a script here in the user data script so I've already created one. I'm just going to copy it and paste it here. All right. So this is pretty straightforward. It's going to update, install Docker. Then we install Docker Compose and change the permissions here. From there, we enable Docker. All right. Let's start the instance. So let's go there. So it's currently pending. I'll just have to wait for a few minutes for it to start running. Okay, so pending. Okay, now it's running. So next step is we are going to create a new user that we're going to use for the deployment. Uh, but we need to associate into into the instance. You can either connect. Use, you can either use connect. You can connect to the SSH using the browser. But I'm going to use the terminal. So I'm gonna go to downloads because that's where I saved my permission. Uh, the, the SSH key file. And then from here I can do this. I need to change the IP address. Let me make this a little bigger. Okay, so now I can log into the instance. Okay, so let's see if Docker is running. To appear, so it's running. See the uh, Docker Compose version. Okay. All right, so the next step is creating the user that we're going to use for deploying, uh, for automating our deployment. So I'm just going to create a new user. I'm going to call this user CI user. Okay, so it's been created. So the next step is we'll be creating the SSH key for this user. I'm just going to copy this command and run it. I'm just going to set the defaults. So now we need to create um, a directory inside our um, user, the user that we created now. So we need to create this directory. So the directory has been created. Now the next step is to, uh, to add the SSH key that we created earlier into the um, authorized keys. So uh, what I need to do is copy the public key. So I'm just going to display it here so this is inside the search directory and cic user public key so that is our public key so the next step is to add that key into the authorized keys uh, can i do this let me copy this key first i'm going to paste in here all right. So the next step is to change the permissions on the on the for, for the user and uh, to change the ownership. All right. 
Okay, so the next step is to configure Docker commands for an Android, an Android user. Uh, by default, Docker co commands are required root privileges. So to allow the user that we create ADM to use Docker without sudo, we need to add him to, to the sudo OS. And you can do that by using the following commands. I'm just going to run the first command. Then this command. So this will enable this user to be able to run Docker without specifying the sudo, sudo command. Okay, so the next step is to configure load balancing with nginx. I'm just going to create an, an nginx config file, which will be used by Docker Compose to proxy traffic to our application. So let's go into the CI user, then create nginx config file. So I've already created a script for setting up proxy. I'm just going to paste it in here. So it's very, it's very simple. Let me just try to explain some of the code here. So we have um, uh, an upstream server. This, this is will be used by the proxy. If you scroll down a bit here, let me make this a little bit bigger. You can see it here. So which means this will be a service using we'll create this service using Docker Compose, uh, which means this will um, the proxy will pass the traffic to to our service here using the API. Okay, so the next step is to create the Docker Compose file. I'm just going to run the same command. So I will already create a script for this. Um, just need to copy and paste in here. Okay, so this is our Docker Compose, which will start up um, an Nginx server using using the uh, connect file that we created earlier. And this is our API, which is going to build from this, this repository. All right, it's going to build that, and also we are starting the MongoDB server, all right? The next step is to go to GitHub and configure um, host IP username and private keys. Okay, let's go to GitHub. I'm going to use this. All right, so into settings, we need to come here and add new secrets. So our first secret will be username, which is CI user. Then the next one will be the host. The host is the, the IP address of, of the machine, of the AC2 instance. So I'm just gonna come here and paste this in here. Then the next one is the private key. Just to play that in here. So I need to go to our instance and get the private key. So for that we need to go into SSH directory and get the private key. Right, I'm gonna place that in here. Okay. So we're done with that. Uh, the next step is to create our workflow. I'm just going to copy, um, I mean, clone this repo to my local machine. Let me make this a little bigger. So I'm going to go into my term directory, clone. Okay, I think this in VS Code. So I'm just going to create a new a new file.
Okay, so I've created a new file. So I then get up flows, then I deploy the YAML file. Uh, I will create a, a YAML file for, for this. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it as well. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. So what do we do here on when you make changes to to when you push changes to main, the main branch is going to kick off the build process. Now, so we use the private key, the script keys that we set up earlier, as you can see here. Then we go into SSH into the instance. Then from there, we're going to run the Docker compose up command, the one uh, using the Docker compose file we created earlier. Right. So let's commit this change. So it should, it should kick off a build. So fresh. It's building. So it passed as well. So let's go to our instance and see if we can access the application. Okay, so the application is up and running. So I'm getting this error because we don't have a, a root endpoint. So if I go to docs, you should be able to see the servant documentations. So it's up and running. 